Next, we're going to set up additional housing for our groups of people that have requested individual rooms. Now, there are a bunch of different ways to build structures in Outer Colony, but once again at this stage, we're just going to go ahead and deploy some more of the light structures that we have left over from our starting equipment. One thing to note about light structures is that they, is that they have to be deployed on level terrain. So if we go ahead and click View Elevation while we're on our top-down view, we can see that there's a bunch of terrain that's pretty much level. This is a fairly flat area. All of this is at level 59 and all of this is at 60. But we're going to go ahead and level it all out to 59, which is going to give us a big, wide, flat space to work with. So the easiest way to level a bunch of terrain to a specific Z level is to click on our Issue Mining uh, slash Dig Order tool. And then we'll use the other sort of meta order, the one that looks like a shovel. This is the dig down through terrain to elevation tool. And this is used to level a whole bunch of terrain. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag over this area here and specify that I want the whole thing dug down to Z level 59, which is going to put it at the same elevation as all of our other equipment and existing structures. I'll go ahead and type in 59. I'll click OK. And then I'll unpause. If we go ahead and look here, there are oodles of new mining orders, and all of these ones that are at Z level 60 are for digging out the uh, the area that's near the near where our expedition here is on the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and raise all of the level 60 orders priority so that these are taken care of before the rest. Set these to 2.5. Click OK. We can see that our colonists are going about all sorts of other tasks automatically, like harvesting these crops. There's still hard, uh, mining resources underground, because I have a bunch of outstanding orders for that. But now that I've raised the priority, our uh, workers are going to town, leveling, leveling out this terrain. As we click on the Show Elevation button again, you can see that they're digging down to level 59 and no further. Um, which is, if we go to View Z level 59, we can see that we've got all this space. Oops, my mistake. We actually want to dig this down to level 58 so that it'll be level with uh, this area over here. Because you can see that um, if we uncheck render dark tiles beneath, 58 is the open level and not 59. So I'm going to go ahead and issue another dig down order to knock out level 59. We'll say 58 go into the order management interface see where the first one is at 59 there it is again we'll hold down shift and select to select a bunch of these at once set the order priority to 2.5 click OK and then we'll see our workers start taking care of business here at the surface we don't necessarily have to dig it down to level 58. Any level of terrain that's so long as the, uh, the terrain is flat, you can deploy structures on. And we could build our power lines to run up a level, but it's just going to be a little bit more straightforward if we have all of our structures here on exactly the same sea level. So once our workers have leveled a bunch of this out, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to deploy our light structures that remain. The all-weather huts are like the all-weather structures. They're just much smaller. Um, they're very modest accommodations, but they're sufficient for um, individual families. So in order to deploy our all-weather huts, we'll click on the issue construction order. Just like we did before, we'll click on the light structure deployment tool, and this will bring up the light structures we can deploy. I'll go ahead and click on one of these, and we see that we've got a whole bunch of terrain leveled out here, so I'll just go ahead and say, place the first one there, I'll place the next one there, and then I'll place the next one there. I'll elevate the priority on all of those orders for deploying light structures. Get work going on those. And as soon as these are deployed, we'll go ahead and furnish them a bit like our rooms over here to make sure that they're sufficient for our colonists. I'm going to go ahead and manufacture some potted plants. Uh, core worlders tend to like these sorts of things inside. They've got very low material requirements, and they're just a nice piece of furniture that... Uh, give your people. I'll use quartz bearing rock for the pot just because I have a huge amount of it.
You see we've got our three construction workers that are deploying these huts. And as soon as they knock it out, we will uh, go ahead and view the interiors again. Go to view Z level 59, which is where they're located. And we'll issue item placement orders to get the room set up adequately. Each one of these, we're going to want to put two simple beds, which is usual, which are usually enough for a single family. And again, we're uh, using item placement orders here, exactly like we've used for everything else to this point. Nothing special or different about what's going on. We'll put a lamp in each room. So one simple lamp. One simple lamp for this room. One simple lamp for this room. We'll equip each room with a data net terminal. Uh, people usually like to have data net terminals directly in their room. So one there, one there, and one there. And then we'll give them one more piece of furniture just to make the uh, area as agreeable as possible. So I'll put a potted plant in there. I'll put a bookshelf in there. And I'll put a potted plant in here. And then our last order of business is going to be to hook up these structures to the power grid so that the lamps and data net terminals and other power consuming items inside can function. Click on the construction tool, then the freeform construction tool, we'll select power lines, and then we'll just go ahead and make a link from our grid to each one of our structures. Now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to assign these rooms to individual people. So we'll go back to our colony requests and we'll look and we'll see who is requesting rooms for their family. We can see that Nickel Enston has requested a room for her family, and Magna Doorbell have both requested rooms. So, we'll click on the room tool again, which looks like a door. We'll click inside of one of these structures, and then we'll go individually owned instead of a communal room, and we'll pick out the people who need the rooms. So, Nickel Enston was one of them. Go ahead and click that. Magna Doorbell was another one who requested an individual room. And then if we switch to our advanced view options, we can view room data, make sure that our rooms are being created po properly. As soon as the rooms are assigned to individuals, individuals will begin to use them. And we'll see who else here is requesting rooms. A lot of media requests, but we've satisfied all of our room request requirements. So we've got one spare structure here. If another couple gets together and gets married, uh, we can give them a room at that point. But for now, we're in good shape. In this step, there's one more thing that I want to manufacture for an upcoming uh, activity. I'm just going to issue a bunch of crop planting orders here to keep taking advantage of the spring. I'm going to need a lot more grain as we uh, continue to progress. But one other thing that I want to manufacture is a construction material manufacturing station. We're going to be doing a lot more freeform construction in next steps, and this is needed to build uh, structure nodes that we're going to need. So for the construction table, the material doesn't matter. We'll go with quartz bearing rock, uh, mechanical durability. We'll use cobalt there. We need hardness on this one. Cobalt is excellent for that. And we'll need a metalloid with high electrical conductivity. So we'll go ahead and use germanium. Issue my manufacturing order for that. It's going to take a quick look at our social network graph. Make sure everything's proceeding. And as you can see, as time passes, a lot of relationships mature. Some people will stay acquaintances for a long time, depending on how much they like or dislike each other. But you'll see a lot more friendships and uh, more advanced romantic relationships as time goes by. If we go ahead here, too, and click on the uh, from information view data net contents, you can see that as some time has passed, people will start to write things on the data net using these terminals that are available. And as this fills up, there'll be more media for people to consume, which will take care of our uh, of all of these requests. So we're moving right along. I think if we check in orders, yes, our heavy machinery manufacturing will raise the priority on that, get this order taken care of. And as soon as one of our workers goes ahead and builds the uh, manufacturing station, which is being taken care of by Magna Doorbell, 
we'll go ahead and deploy that so that we can start manufacturing more structure nodes to wall off our area and start building more efficient structures than these light ones that we had to start out with. Light structures are usually good at the very beginning, but the quality of them tends to be a little bit lower than what you can get out of um, freeform structures that are made from well-manufactured nodes. So that's the, the route we're going to take from here on in. Now that the construction material manufacturing station has been built, I'll go ahead and deploy the item using the item placement tool just like I did for the others. And you see that as your colony progresses, your machinery grid usually gets a little bit bigger and more advanced as there are more things that um, you can do. We can see here as well that um, our married couples are starting to reproduce over time. Um, this is a new baby born event. You might or might not get these as quickly as I am depending on a bunch of factors with your colony, but we're going to want to go ahead and set up some child care areas in pretty short order to start taking care of this stuff. But uh, we've got our construction materials station deployed. Just elevate the order priority on that. Here it is. And we are ready to move on to the next step, which is going to involve more construction, more area designation, and uh, starting to secure the area that we have starting out here.